So I'm gonna feed some hay. This hay is about a year, year and a half old. You can see it's starting to get around the edges there. You know, you got probably a band of waste and that's a problem with keeping hay for very long. Uh, it's wasteful. You probably lose 20% every year. And uh, so what I've been doing, well, I'll show you what I've been doing before I give them the good hay, the new hay I just got. Now this was probably cut back during summer, but this was cut last summer, a year and a half ago or so. So let me show you what I'm doing with this hay to eliminate some of the cows waste of it because they will waste. So I'll come in here with the forks and try to take off this top, oh, eight, six or eight, ten inches, and I'll pull that, I have to pull the, the roll out first, cut the strings and everything, but then I'll pull up the top off of it, and I'm going to go feed that t first today. Tomorrow I'll feed them the rest of the row, but today I'm going to feed them just the top. When I take it out there, I'll roll it over so they can get to the better part of the hay and not the tops. That top, you know, just being rained on for a year and a half or whatever, they're not going to eat that. So I'll take the top off of it, feed it to the cows, let them eat all that today. Tomorrow I'll come in here, pick up the whole roll and um, feed that. So I always try to cut the strings on this, take the strings off of it while it's elevated, while it's off the ground a few inches because the strings are just easier to pull uh, when it's not, uh, when the hay, thousand pounds of hay is not sitting on those strings. So I'll cut the strings and pull them out, wrap them up, then we'll feed this dude. Make sure you got all the strings. You do not want to leave that in your pasture. Never, ever leave baling twine in your pasture because your tractor, when you mow it, will absolutely find it. And it is a mess to get out of a mower. The next thing we'll do is, like I told you, we'll pick it up from about the top foot or so and try to pull that top um, crust, crusty layer off. It'll have some good hay with it. So I'll feed that today, but that's what I'm gonna pull off of it just to try to make this bell a little bit more appealing tomorrow when I feed it. So let's do that. Success. We're going to take it out there just like that and feed it to them. I'll roll it over where the, the bad side, the crusty side, is on the ground and the good hay is on top because there is some good hay in the middle of that uh, piece that I just pulled off. And then tomorrow we'll give them this, which it looks pretty doggone good, and they will eat the dog out of that. But right now we want them to clean this up first. Well, the plan was to show me toting it out there to them, but it fell apart. I had to scoot under it four or five times to get a, a good enough bite on it to bring most of it over here. And normally I'll take it over there to the hay ring where I'm feeding hay now, but it was so uh, unstable and fixing to fall off the forks 
that I uh, just decided to drop it over the fence right there. So that's what they do with it. They, first of all, they got to get their head in it and rub on it and whatever, turn it over and wish they wouldn't do that, just eat the top of it. That's the good part. The top that's laying up now because most of the bad part's on the bottom. But anyway, they're eating it and they'll uh, get through this today and then tomorrow I will feed the rest of that old roll. Got one more old roll, then I start feeding new hay. Won't have to do this. The other roll, the last roll, looks pretty bad, so I'll have to do it for that, for sure. But, I figured she'd get that off the fence, because that looks good. That's still kind of green. Yeah, we like that. That's some good stuff there. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go back. I got a little bit more laying on the ground. I'll go back and pick that up. See if they step in it and stuff. They just won't eat it. Once their hooves get in it, and if their hooves has a little poop or something on it, it just... Uh, they smell of it and they don't like the way it smells, they won't eat it. So anyway, we fed it and uh, just using up old hay and the best way I found to do it, which will be uh, less waste and such. And I, you know, I could have put it in a ring and stuff, but with a, I want them to eat. I want them to eat it quick. I'll get a little bit more laying on the ground when it all busted apart. I'll see if I can pick it up. I had my grapple. I could just go in there and just grab it with the grapple, just grab it, grab it, pick it all up. But I don't, I got the forks on there and the forks are not as good about picking up stuff. It just slides off the side of the forks. So feeding old hay, getting ready to feed the good hay later on. Probably next week, week after. All right, they like it. They're eating it. Year and a half old, but they like it. And we're gone.